The first thing I'll be talking about is adjustment layers. These are for changing things like contrast, brightness, saturation, and much more like that. First, let's change our workspace to photography. And to do that, we need to go up to this window in the top right. Just select that, hit the drop down arrow, um, hit photography, and you should get this window over here on the right called adjustments. And if you don't see adjustments, what you can do is go up to window and you can go ahead and find adjustments and just click that. Okay, so in this adjustment window, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, bring this out just a little bit. And uh, you'll see many different icons and each icon is going to give us a different adjustment to work with. So just to show you, uh, if you just go ahead and click uh, this icon with the plus and minus symbol, just click that, we will get an exposure adjustment. So right away, a few things happen. If you look at your layer window, you should see a new layer called Exposure 1. And hopefully a tab should have popped out called Properties. This Properties tab is going to be where we adjust the image. So this image is a little dark. So we can take this exposure slider right here. And if we just drag it up just a little bit, you can already see that our image is now getting brighter. And if you want to see what it looked like before, we can go down to this layer and just hit this eye icon and that will show you what it is like without the adjustment. So essentially what's happening here is we have an adjustment layer here. So what that means is um, with this layer, any layer adjustment layer that is above our image layer right here is going to have an effect down below each layer down below. So we can keep adding more and more adjustment layers and that will give us more and more effects, but it has to be on top of your image layer. So now what I would do is start going through these adjustments and experiment with them, see what they do. And we can keep stacking them up, as I said, and we can add as many as we like. Uh, Let's go ahead and add a vibrance adjustment, kind of as like this uh, triangle. So if I just press that, uh, we'll get, if we look in the properties tab, uh, we have a new adjustment um, effects here. We can now take this slider and if we just take vibrance, we can up the vibrance up here. Um, and you might not see an effect right away, but if we hide this, you can see that is much more saturated. And just for reference here, think of vibrance. Um, if I just put up saturation, you can see they kind of do the same thing. But I would think of vibrance as sort of a fine adjustment and saturation as a coarse uh, adjustment. And of course, that is going to make your colors more, more saturated. So let's just look at one more. And this one is called Levels, and it's right here. Kind of looks like spikes on a graph or something. Just go ahead and click that, and we'll get kind of this going on. We get a uh, sort of a histogram sort of deal. And this is very similar to Exposure, but this, is, this allows us to control uh, various parts or various lights and darks. So, um, for example, if we take this slider right here, and I just bring that up just a little bit, um, or I'll, I'll bring it up a lot so you can see what's happening, um, pretty much our darkest darks are um, being brought up. And so I don't like having like really um, dark blacks. Like um, if I just bring it up a little bit, we get more of a softer tone. Um, it's really a preference, but that's just how I like that. Uh, we can also do here kind of does uh, a little different effect, um, brings our, makes our darks darker if I bring that up. Um, but, you know, just go ahead and play around with it, see what things do. And yeah. So just some tips on editing photos. Uh, what I would say is try to frequently hide and unhide your layers, kind of like this, see before and after, and just keep doing that over and over until you see what you like. Uh, another tip is you don't need every adjustment on here, but 
Sometimes you might. It depends on what you're doing. And if you want a nice, clean, simple image, then keep it simple and try not to overdo it. I tend to see a lot of photos out there that are heavily oversaturated. It, it's not realistic and can easily ruin a fo photograph. One other thing is that if you ever want an adjustment less potent, you can always lower the opacity of that layer. So I selected the exposure layer and I can go up to opacity right here. And if I just bring that down like this, um, I'm at zero right now. It's pretty much the same as hiding that layer. Uh, you can see how much darker it got. But if I just bring it to 50% and to 100, you can see the difference right there that it's changing. Um, it's making this layer more see-through, so it's having a less uh, potent effect. However, if you do want a more powerful exposure, for example, you can go ahead and click this layer. Then on your keyboard, if you press Command J or Control J, it will uh, duplicate your layer. And then you can adjust the opacity from there. If it's too much, you can lower it. Or if it's still not enough, you can always add another layer and you can just keep uh, doing that over and over again. And if you're not sure how bright something should be, I would say make it overly bright, kind of like this, then inch back from there. So this is obviously a, a little too bright. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, hide some of these layers like this. Um, go back and forth, um, see what I like. Um, and then hmm, that might be maybe a little too, no, that's, <laughs> that looks good about there. And one more thing, if you're ever unsure about really anything, stand back, take a break and come back to it in a few hours with a fresh new pair of eyes. Uh, better yet, let someone else take a look at it and let them give you uh, their opinion on it. One final thing about adjustments, I just want to show you my favorite adjustment. This one is called Color Lookup, and it kind of looks like a grid right here. And if you just press it and go to Properties over here, um, and it should uh, be selected on 3D LUT file. And if you go to this drop down menu right here and see you'll see candlelight cube and you'll get this beautiful sepia effect uh, usually this is way way too much so what i like to do is um, use that potency um, technique and lower the opacity to at least 50 and we can start to see some of the differences sometimes the uh, lights can be too can start to hurt your eyes. This gives it a really nice soft tone. Um, again, it's just personal preference. Uh, this is just one of my favorite adjustments.